Chad Andrus, Eric Snow with you on NBA.com for this one. Now pleased to be joined by Chris Albert, the Vice President of Basketball Operations for the NBA Development League, a guy I'm very familiar with. And Chris, I just finished telling Eric and our fans out there the story of Cesare Trebansky at seven foot one being in the middle seat of coach on a plane sandwiched in between six foot nine Lewis Amundsen and six foot nine Elton Brown three years ago and kind of trying to explain to the folks what the D-leaguers got D-leaguers go through with their scheduling and with their travel and what they're trying to do to achieve their dream of being that next caller for the next guy signed to a contract. Well first of all thanks for having me guys really appreciate it it's great to see you both and uh, uh, the guys in our league are very hungry and uh, they understand that the, the NBA development league is, is the fastest route to the NBA uh, you look at the record number of call-ups we had recently. We had 40 total call-ups spread amongst 27 different players. Uh, and you look at the Summer League rosters. We had 47 former D-League players that participated in the Orlando Summer League, and we have 117 former D-League players that are on uh, Vegas Summer League rosters. So certainly a lot of, uh, a, a lot of talented uh, players that came through the D-League that are now trying to get some more exposure and uh, display their skills for these NBA GMs and teams that are just looking for another free agent to round out their roster next year. What is the, the, the main criteria that you try to you know, install in the players as far as what the NBA players coaches teams are looking for? What is the main thing? Because you know that they all want to display what talent they have, but what are the one intangible that you always say, this is the one thing you know you have to bring to the table? Well, I'll tell you, a lot of times NBA teams are looking for that last piece that, that, that can push them over the edge. Uh, so when you look at the various skills that players have, whether it's a guy that's a tremendous shooter, uh, say like a Mike Ganzi, uh, or you, you look at a player like uh, a Mark Tindall, who's a tremendous on-ball defensive player, or Russell Robinson, who's a great point guard, who can really guard and, and make outside jump shots. Uh, what we try to tell the players is, look, uh, if you do get an opportunity for a call-up, uh, you're not going to be the guy that's going to get all the shots. You've got to be a role player. You've got to fit in. You've got to work hard. You've got to push your teammates during practice. Uh, and you've got to have a tremendous attitude and be a tremendous teammate. Uh, those are the players that NBA teams are looking at.